Hello everyone, I hope this day, month, year, and time are treating you well. I'm Shadow Warden, your JRPG channel, and it's time to face dive into a debate war. Take out your gaming sticks and wave them in the air threateningly. Because by now, you have seen the title and picked a side already. So let's talk about what this video is about. Tem based versus action based in the JRPG gene. Many RPG games tend to lean to one of these two styles. Some even combine the two. With the classic turn-based system, each of your turns is based either on a speed stat like DD Initiative, or just having each team member attack first before switching to your opponent's team. This methodical pace allows for a deliberate approach to battles, encouraging players to carefully consider each move. Classic titles like the early Final Fantasy games 1-6, through six, the Dragon Quest series, and the Persona franchise exemplify this style. The beauty of turn-based combat lies in strategic planning where understanding the strength and weaknesses of both your party and your enemies become crucial. There have also been games that have evolved this system. As seen in the later games of the Final Fantasy series, the ATB system was introduced which features an active and wait mode. These modes help blend traditional turn-based strategy with real-time elements, making each decision feel urgent. Modern turn-based JRPGs like Persona 5 and Persona 3 Reloaded evaluate the gene with the one more system, rewarding players for exploiting enemy weaknesses, and the baton system allows you to pass your extra turn to another player member. Octopath Traveler innovates with its boot system, allowing players to unleash multiple attacks in a single turn, and its break system encouraging targeting enemies' weaknesses to stun them, making battles more strategic. The Fire Heirloom series combines turn-based combat for grid-based movement and permadeath, emphasizing careful positioning and high-stick decision-making. The pros of turn-based JRPGs are manifold. The strategic death is incredibly satisfying, allowing for thoughtful, calculated decisions that can lead to a rewarding sense of mastery over the game mechanics. Each battle feels like a puzzle to be solved, where the right combination of moves and abilities can turn the tide in your favor. The level of strategic thinking can be particularly gratifying when you face up against challenging bosses or enemies with unique abilities that require careful planning to defeat. I'm looking at you, Persona Secret Bosses. The pace of turn based JRPGs is more relaxed, providing a thoughtful experience where you can ponder your next move without the pressure of real time decisions. This makes turn based JRPGs more accessible to newcomers and for those who prefer a slower, more contentious pace. It's a style that invites you to take your time, explore every option, and savor the story and characters without feeling rushed. The ability to pause and think about your strategy is particularly appealing during complex encounters where one more move can spell your disaster. However, turn based has its drawbacks. The slower gameplay can sometimes feel less dynamic, especially during lengthy battles with numerous enemies. There are moments when the repetitive nature of turn based combat particularly in games that require extensive grinding, can become tedious over time. Repeatedly facing the same type of enemies with similar tactics can occasionally make the game feel monotonous. Now on the other side, we have action-based combat. This more dynamic and immersive gaming experience blends real-time combat with deep role-playing elements. These games are characterized by the fast-paced, hands-on approach to battles, where players directly control characters and make split-second decisions. One of the most iconic series in this gene is Kingdom Hearts, which combines the action-packed combat of real-time battles with the storytelling depth and character development of traditional JRPGs. Players must master timing and persistence to execute combos, dodge enemy attacks, and use special abilities creating a thrilling and engaging experience. It's like an adrenaline rush to each battle. Another standout in the action-based JRPG gene is the Tales series, developed by Bandai Namco, known for its linear motion battle system. Tales games offer a ton of fluidity. You can move freely around the battlefield, execute combos, and coordinate attacks with party members. The series emphasizes the importance of positioning, timing, and strategy, making each battle a test of skill and reflexes. Nothing hits you harder than coming to the end of a combo into a mystical art, or even better, a level 2 mystical art. It's like a rush you can't find anywhere else. You have other great action-based series, like the YS series, which is also near our motto, which offers a unique take on the action-based RPG formula by blending action RPG elements for bullet hell shooting mechanics. You switch between melee and range attacks, dodge incoming projectors, and engage in high-speed combat sequences. Xenoblade Chronicles also has a hybrid approach 
Combining real-time action with strategic elements, chain attacks are seen as turn based as they are done by having each ally take a turn attacking until the chain attack ends. But in most of the battles, you control one character while your allies attack and use their abilities without your command. However, this style comes with its challenges. The high skill requirement can be daunting for people not accustomed to action games, potentially making the learning curve steeper. Moreover, the focus on real-time action may offer less opportunity for the deep ecstatic planning found in turn-based systems. Despite these challenges, the excitement and immersion provided by action-based JRPGs make them a favorite of many, including myself, when I'm in a mood for something more dynamic. The key difference between turn-based and action-based JRPGs are significant and catered to different types of players. Turn-based games provide a slower, more methodical experience that emphasizes strategic planning and resource management. In contrast, action-based games deliver a faster, more thrilling experience that requires quick reflexes and immediate decision making. Personally, choosing between these styles often comes down to my mood and what I'm looking for to get out of my gaming section. When I take my time, turn-based JRPGs are more my go-to, but when I'm craving excitement and I want to feel the rush of real-time combat, I turn to action-based JRPGs for their intense, immediate engagement. Ultimately, while well, love most about JRPGs is the ability to cater to diverse tastes and provide endless opportunities for adventure. Whether exploring vast worlds or mastering combat mechanics, each style offers a unique charm, ensuring there's always an adventure out there for someone. And that's all I have to say about this topic. I hope you enjoyed my mind speaking for itself. Sorry it feels like I ramble, but let's mind speak for you. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I also stream JRPG over on my Twitch channel and sometimes if I can get my dual stream working here. The link to my channel is in the description below. Also comment below which side you mostly find yourself on. Are you more of a turn-based person? Are you an action-based person? Or just love of all, no matter what form it takes? Let me know. Your support means the world to me and I can't wait to see you in the next stream or video. Happy gaming.